one of the best players at Arcade Legacy, so, you know, being able to play with him is, you know, just an honor. Very talented, so. Great up airs, trying to convert. You really great usage of those aerials, but like I said before, Salt's usage of the uh, the force smash when he hits, it's normally always, always a tipper. And if not, uh, it seems that Fox is just missing again a tipper. Great tipper by Salt, and it's just whenever he does miss it, it seems that Salt's not really uh, great shine. That was one of the only shine, one of the only shine spikes that we've seen in this entire game. And And again, another tipper. So, Salt's up 2-0 against Suit. Not looking good for Suit going into game 3, but we'll see what happens. And again, like I'm saying, he's just... His tippers, the force smash, whenever he lands it, whenever he does land it, he's just... Seems to always get a tipper, and because of that, it's just allowing him to, you know, make big plays, knock him off stage, and then from there, capitalize when he's off stage. And, uh, but when he does, like, you just saw the force smash that he missed, he seems to, uh, you know, suit seems to miss opportunities to punish and get the grab. Either he's off the edge or just doesn't get the, the correct punish that he needs. But, um... Looks like Suit's using a lot more shines this game uh, than he did before, and it looks like, yeah, he will be living, so... This is really good for Suit going into this game. Uh, he's got a high percentage and he needs to definitely convert, get some damage before Salt can kill him with a, uh, a tipper like last time. Sweet team, my bad. That was a... Great down B from the Foxfire, able to convert, but uh, Sweet Tea's still in the lead. And thank you for the correction, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Um, he just told me his name and what to, what to type in, I wasn't exactly sure uh, how to pronounce it, but thank you for that. This is exactly what the Sweet Tea needs if he wants to win this game. Uh, he's gotta take like, momentum. If he wants to win, he's gotta take momentum and... He did a great job, you know, uh, having that extra two stocks. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, but having those two extra stocks make him, makes uh, Salt a lot more... Gives him a lot more room to uh, make the, those mistakes, like going deep and using that up, up beat like we just saw. And uh, Sweet Tea finally gets the uh, kill. And it's not only like good for him, but he's definitely it's definitely possible. I mean, anything possible this is melee. And it looks like he looks pretty confident in getting that. Uh, looks like he was gonna get that uh, down air, but he didn't want to dive in too deep, I guess, just because. Uh, I think two games ago or last game, he tried doing that, diving down the battlefield and getting the uh, the down air, and he missed. And you know, I'd be, you know, if I was him, I would be also reluctant to get try going there and getting that down down air as well. Trying to stall on air so he can't get uh, up aired again, and stays his jump on stage. Marks back on stage, Sweet Tea's off, I don't think it's going to get him. Oh. And a beautiful down smash, down air. Oops, he's got a beautiful down air kill him. And Salt wins it, takes it, 3-0, great job. Great games. Um, Salt playing. I can get your peach, now it's just your bar that's bigger. So, so it looks like uh, Sweet Tea. 
Salt uh, switching. I know, I do know for a fact that Salt, at least whenever I've seen him, he plays Peach. And I know he's a great Peach player. Uh, but playing Marth today, he's been doing phenomenal. Uh, 3 0 Sweet Tea, and you may have heard it, but Sweet Tea just said that he's like, he's able to beat Salt's uh, Peach. He figured out his Peach, but you know, pulling out the mark is just mixing up like that. Uh, great thing from Salt. Yeah, Salt's not an Evo. Yeah, unfortunately, Salt is not an Evo. Uh, Steve is at Evo. Uh, Nick is at Evo. And I want to say Matt is at Evo. I'm not sure. I believe. I know there's three people who are at Evo. And I know Nick and Steve are at Evo for fact. I'm not sure about Matt. Uh, I know Fumbles is actually not here because he's at work. Uh, I think I was talking about other uh, Matt. Not 100% sure, but I do know Steve and Nick are at Evo. So that's why they're not here. And we have Chi hosting the uh, bracket. So, uh, again, great job by Salt, 3 uh, 0ing uh, Sweet Tea. Some beautiful tippers in those games, and just uh, really, great jo really great job. Really great job. Overall. So, it looks like we're uh, waiting for the next match. I'm not exactly sure how far the bracket is or what those games were. If I had to guess, I believe they're semis or maybe quarters, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, so far, I know. Um, Salt beat Sweet Tea and Raku beat uh, Ted. So, if my calculations are correct, then I believe it should be Salt and Raku, like it normally is. But I may be wrong. Yes, exactly. Salt and Raku. Me? Uh, my name's Gavin, I go by Hypa in uh, Smash Community. I started playing uh, fairly recently. I started playing around October of 2014, and then I got competitive in April of this year, so I'm not, I'm still fairly new, so sorry for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to. Uh, yeah, I'm Gavin. I'm. I go by Hypa, H-A-I-P-A in the Smash community. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm bad. But here we go, first game. Uh, I can talk about myself later. Sorry, but we got, I think it's... What? What? Yes, he did. Yeah. Uh, he should be back there. Some girl took it. Okay, so again, Salt, great tipper. Uh, like I said before, he is his spacing is phenomenal whenever he plays hard. There's times where he does miss the forward smash, but for the most part, when he does land it, it is a tipper. He does get the kill. Uh, not sure if that was an intentional chain, but he did get punished from because of it. Um, okay. Oh Jesus. Yeah, Salt has been phenomenal when it comes to landing the forward smash tippers. So, oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, Salt's really good at like spacing. Spacing in neutral game. Oh. Well. I didn't realize. Salt Aaron, Aaron, there. Why are you playing, Aaron? You you better than this. Aaron is not playing. Yeah. yeah. Good enough to be Aaron, be head barely, but he's gonna step it up if he's gonna be. Uh, Salt. Salt, yeah, because some of those things were pretty, pretty lacking. Some nares missed. I mean, I would've missed it, but he's better than me. Alright, that was good. Yeah, they, see, Aaron just needs the up smash more. He, he's been going for up tilts out of grab on Mark recently, and up smash is very clean, very easy. Up tilt can combo into more things, but up smash is just like a lot of damage, and if they DI it wrong, it's also hard combos. Great forward air. I don't think he's gonna be returning. He missed the needle. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't no, go he for does. It. Okay. He had. The, he could have gone for the needle there when head of recovery. Yeah, definitely would have postponed his recovery. Okay, so there he goes for the needle, and it did help. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter because yeah. he's gonna charge. Aaron knows that he can waste all his full charge needles and no big deal. Yeah, Aaron's playing much better now. He's yeah, he's, yeah, walking, yeah. he's moving right around, right around Ted or Salt. Uh, my main is Sheik. I literally have like an exact copy of Aaron Sheik, except much worse. Uh, it's good enough to place 
decently, but so I, I pretty much know where whatever Aaron's going for. I've studied him pretty hard. See, uh, he wants to, he doesn't want to give. Um, Aaron's kind of scared to like keep the edge guard there and not and like that's why he needled because what Mark's gonna want to do is, is down back for or down throw into the force mass and clean up a stock. So Aaron plays smart right there and just keeps center stage. Alright, that was a little mind game right there. Yeah. Dude, Aaron just, just cleanly swept through these three stocks. I'm impressed. Yeah. Uh, the start, it didn't look like it was going in his favor, but he definitely took control and gained momentum. And now he's... Up smash. He's definitely on top right now. Yeah, he's he's playing around with Salt. Like, you know, the way you, the problem with Salt is he's really good fundamentally, which means that you cannot play a waiting game with him. There is no waiting game. You have to pressure him really hard and let like that's like that's his downfall is pressure. He doesn't know how to deal with it super well, and it kind of flushes him a little bit. So Aaron is non-stop going on him. Yeah. There, there's no dash dance game going on here. Yeah, right there. Immediate pressure. Yeah, that's probably didn't fair him there. And he probably didn't. He's got, I think Aaron got a little nervous. Yeah, he's just gonna give him center. There, you're, you're back on. Marf is too scary. Yeah. Needles, yeah. Needle pusher? Okay. Yeah, I thought he was gonna drop down there, but I think he was a little slow in reacting to that. Okay. Great usage of the needles. Alright, this is Aaron does not let these things go. He's gonna he's gonna pay patient. He's gonna wait for him to get back on and then he's gonna grab the fair. That's what I'll predict that. Alright, well jab fair. <laughs> Prediction boys. Prediction boys. Alright, okay. So great game by Ragu, taking momentum halfway through the game and just like non-stop pressure. Is this winners finals? Or uh, what is this? I, I'm not exactly sure. Uh Losers hasn't ended yet, so this isn't grands. No. So, Salt re owed it for Aaron, right? No. Uh, Salt just beat Sweet Tea, 3 0, and then uh, Ragu just beat Ted, and before that, before that, uh, Salt beat uh, Dunks. And uh, okay. Then, yeah, I'm not very sure. I haven't been told what. Uh, so, I think this is probably winner's final. Yeah. I think this. Alright, so I thought Aaron just got 3 0 by Salt, that's why I was a little worried. But I think the, the names were wrong. No big deal. Alright, yeah, I don't know why Aaron doesn't ban the stage. He's a silly man. He loves the stage for some reason. Uh, that's the one thing I cannot I understand. Yeah. In my yeah. opinion, this is... Sorry, go on. I'm not a big fan of just, in, in general, Yoshi's mark is just too strong. You know, pretty much all, majority of his moves get hit from those platforms, and there's really no escape other than the top one, so... Yeah. Also, Marv has got a perfect land. If you just sort of on there, which is really nice for tech chasing. If you, uh, or I guess it's called uh, no impact land. You've got no impact land if you short hop on the platform. So for uh, tomahawks, it's really, really strong. All right, so I don't know why Aaron didn't dash back there. Oh wow, the read. Backer, yeah, he went for it, but salt players facing very smartly. And yep, Yoshi's that okay? Huh? Alright, so. See, Saul is challenging you on the edge. This is very dangerous. Aaron has gotten pretty good at his invincibles, and he's very patient, so. I definitely don't recommend staying this close. He's, got taking, he's taking a lot of damage from it. Yeah. He's in the needles, but so far he's taking control and he's doing a lot of damage. And if he can actually get a stock before. Uh, Salt can, then this is gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna say 100%, but no, no. it's gonna look Back like here. it's in Aaron's favor for, you know. I mean, Aaron's definitely taking control right now. Yeah, see, you can see Saul, his, you can hear him too. He's yeah. not enjoying himself. I'm mad that he landed the uh, consecutive jab. And that was some. That was some nice shield pressure. Good mind games, I mean. Man, this has been weird. Salt is just like not throwing out enough moves right now. Usually Salt loves his fares, but I guess air is in his head. And the back yeah, that's goes. why he's running like Yossi's. 
Yeah, she cannot recover from. She could usually recover from that, but no. And also, you can't uh, drop zone in this with, with Sheesh in this level very well. With like Nair and uh, back air, there's no drop zone because you just die. So that's kind of rough. Back air, no. Uh, Aaron drops in there. He doesn't. He does not practice his edge guard. And finally lands a down smash, which is I haven't seen a lot recently. But he did land that one. He got the kill. So good job. Yeah, I mean down smash is really really bad against Mark. It's like the one matchup you really don't want to use it very much because Mark sword outspaces it, and if he shields it, he can grab you. Most characters are. Pretty, if, they, if you space it properly, down smash is pretty safe on shield, but not against Mark. And a grab, a grab from Mark can be like almost death. Like yeah, he grabs yeah. you really hard. Excellent. Oh, uh, I don't know why he rolled. He fought it. I guess he didn't think he got made it. It was uh, get this grab. Fair. Oh, why did he? Fair in there. It's so much easier. Misses the up air, but gets the fair. So great job. Two zero right now for. All right, Aaron's crushing now. Yeah. Uh, okay, he sure almost got zero yeah. stock. He, zero death the first stock he got zero death and he came yeah. back and two, two okay, stocks. So he's going back to Yoshi's. Um, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I don't know why he's not going Peach, but I guess Aaron. Yeah, I know. I was about to say that. Like, I guess he wants to, you know, test his Mars ability. Well, I think um, last time Aaron said he played, I, I can help you out. I'm a, I'm playing Mark and Sheik. So for this matchup, for Mars, you really want to, it's like a mind game of getting Sheik to approach you, because her defensive options are the only reason why she has a good matchup against Mars. Like, she can shield your moves really easily and shield grab you, like wave dash out, shield grab your forward smash. She, she can, uh, you know, like punish you really hard if a grab, if she ever gets that on you. All, a lot of her moves combo really hard if she gets a hit. Isn't tier list wise Sheik more heavily, not heavily, but in favor of Sheik? It's even at the high level. Oh. It's very even. At, at lower level is definitely fair for Sheik because it's a lot more neutral dependent. Like, Marf is a stronger neutral, so you have to be, you know, at the higher level of play, the more neutral matters, basically. But, yeah. Um, Great tip. So, one of the things that happens with the matchup is. Like getting the guy, getting the other person to approach, so baiting an approach out, because the guy who's approaching is generally in the bad spot. As you see, Aaron, he like puts pressure on him. Aaron's a ragu. Uh, the sheep puts pressure on Salt, and then Salt probably has to move out or moves back or does some re reacts to it, and then Aaron punishes it. That's how this match is going. You always want to be the other way around, basically, and you want to space it out so that she has to punish you, has to approach you. Um, for like. Specific like percent-wise things, up till combos off of uh, up throw and cheek until like 30%, and you can go for a Ken combo at like 60 plus percent. It's a lot easier. You can juggle with theirs, and if cheek's above you, juggling is really really easy. Uh, like up throw, er, not up throw, up air, uh, up air shuffles will juggle cheek till high percent until you can just like watch her come down and just punish her from that. Uh, when you're edge guarding Sheik, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just watch the match. You got some good tips. Alright, you see, Aaron's just so patient. He's waiting for that grab. Very patient. Uh, okay. Drop something there, fair? No. Alright. This is a patient battle right now. Aaron's gonna win though, because Aaron's Aaron. He waits for that left dash. <laughs> so mean, isn't he? Not need to do that for that long. Finally getting the forward air, getting the KO. There? No, why doesn't Salt ever Ken combo? He always has it, he just never does it. It seems, at least the last game, he. I, don't, I think he's lacking his confidence in his uh, Ken combo just because he played against uh, Sweet Pea, and there's a few times where he actually. Him, like he completely messed it up, and he actually costed him a stock. And so I think he may oh, be really? a little bit hesitant on using the uh, down air now, at least when he's uh, yeah. off. Of Ooh, nice fair. Yeah, I, I would believe that. Um, I definitely could, like. It's really risky when you can combo. You have to you have to be sure about it. Yeah. But I, I feel like Salt's experienced enough. He should be sure enough. But self confidence could definitely be an issue there. So if you saw that Aaron double jumped into that forward smash and just cost him that stock for three. 
It's a lesson there. Don't don't jump with Sheik. Don't jump with Sheik ever. And great kill. It's really close now. I went from you know uh, Soul's favor right back into you know a neutral phase. Let's see what Aaron can do. No. Oh, um, also for the Marth, down tilt is a really good approach against Sheik. Like you, you gotta practice see, doing yeah. it. Yeah, he's it's very very hard to punish it if you spaced it. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh interesting. Salt is very good at recovery. If you want to learn how to recover with Morph, watch Salt. Yeah. Levin, uh, he got eliminated rather early. So, we won't be seeing any more yeah, of him, sadly. Yeah, unfortunately. I think the money match has got to him a little bit. Dude, maybe we can get Levin friendly at some point, but he's pretty agitated right now. Oh, this is this is tight. Oh, there you go, back here. Clean for you. Oh, yeah. Even got a couple of zero deaths on him. Great job by Raku. Great job by Aaron, uh, Ragu, 3 0 uh, Salt. I actually expected him to switch to uh, Peach at least, maybe not first game, but at least second game definitely. And he stayed that that Marth, and he even stayed going Yoshi's again. And um, I guess he was confident in that stage, but unfortunately it didn't really work with him. Smash for Zelda and Sheik are the same. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here for like, I want to say like an hour, maybe 30 minutes. I don't know. Pretty good. Um, I'd say the closest was Ragu against this guy named Ted, and it was Falcon, Sh yeah, Falcon Sheik, and it went like, Ted won game one, then Ragu won game two and three, then Ted won game four, and then it got really close and down at the wire, and like, dude, game four, yeah, 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 dude, game four, some chick, Stole this chair. She was she was probably drunk. So chick stole this chair. Pulled it right behind Ted and Ragu. And she's just like, which one do you use? The blue guy. The blue guy's gonna win. And like I assumed it was like maybe like Ragu or Ted's like girlfriend maybe. But it was just like some random chick. And so like Ragu's just like, I, is that okay if I pause? And he pauses. He's just like, can you please leave? And, uh, and then yeah, yeah. And then so she just like left and was just like, like for the most part Ted was like probably. I want to say he was like in the lead for most of that. No, no, no. Ragu was in the lead for like most of that game, and then he kind of just got. I want to say it's because of like what happened, but he kind of got a little bit fucked up and he lost that game. Yeah. But he did win game five. So, okay. So now we got. Uh, I don't know. But I know it's a sheep main. I don't know. Um, anyway, Falco again. I know. Uh, one. Okay, Gandorf is not actually a Gandorf main. I know he's a sheep main because he's just commentating with me and he told me about it. Here's my aus autism tier list for this event. Number one, caster one, number two, caster. <laughs> I just showed up for the fun. You cannot see read that name. Uh, I can't read that name. Uh, Falcon's getting the wave shot. Yeah. I do know the Falcon player is a Falcon man. I've played him before. And I almost beat him with my Pikachu. And that was unfortunate. Yeah. Tried getting the down air and then he just got pushed off the stage. And that was even more unfortunate. I think this might be kind of a difficult matchup. For Gandor? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. He doesn't have any area, uh, any projectiles and there's not, to keep his space yeah. in He's a slower character and I mean sure Falco's slow, but I feel like at least when you have the Captain Falcon mashup, you have a lot more speed. Yeah. Compared to the Gandorf mashup where it's you're a lot slower and it's so you can get pressured a lot out of those lasers and everything, so yeah. Great back air, trying to use the laser pressure, it's up the unfortunately, and dumpster. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> he got nervous, he got nervous. Oh. Mind games. That was all mind games right there. That was all mind games right there. Pretty close match, actually. Yeah. It would have been a lot closer, but unfortunately, Falco SD'd from that, uh, that, the forward smash pressure was just real. Okay. Oh, 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 and the meteor smash. That's unfortunate. That was very close, but it looks like he did. Gandorf dove a little bit too deep right there, and he got like sent under the shade. And when he tried up being, he just got clipped. And that was not. not was good getting, for Gandorf was getting thrown around at the start of that match, just getting wave shined all over the place. Anyone in the final destination? Okay, it looks like we're actually going to continue bracket. I believe this is blue. Wait, actually, I don't know. Impulse. I think it's impulse. Hey, it's Ted and Impulse, right? Ted and Impulse, correct? Ted and Impulse, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, now we got bracket. Actually going on. I believe this is loser. I think this is losers. You wanna ask? Uh, I wait. I think this is. Yeah, you can ask. Me. Losers finals. Losers finals. Let me loser semis. Loser semis. Yeah, it's loser semis. Yeah. So we got loser semis Ted versus Impulse. Uh, I saw Ted play recently, and he did against against Ragu. And I know I do know how Ragu plays. He actually did fairly well against Ragu. Uh, at least I don't know. I've never seen Ted play, and against Ragu compared to how Ragu played just against Salt, who I've seen multiple times before, those guys have gotten even. Uh, Ted actually did fairly well, and that was the only game within I think the four or five games I've commentated that was actually a, uh, that actually went to the fifth game. All the other games have been 3-0s. What's Super Mega Bracket? Uh, it's just a new bracket because everyone's out. The bracket just works a bit differently this week than it does all the other weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a, yeah, Steve, uh, who normally hosts the bracket, is gone to Evo. So we had she who hosted the bracket, so we called it a little bit differently. That was just the name change. Uh, okay, uh, Fox Captain Falcon. Yeah, Fox Captain Falcon. Oh. And up smash. And a yell from the crowd. I don't know who that was, but someone was happy. There was somebody. Yeah, somebody was very happy. Okay. Not sure if I'd like Super Mega Bracket. Whatever. Just, it, yeah, it just looks like Impulse is just like in control of the game, and he's just di dictating like all the movement that he wants. So until Ted can get something, uh, this isn't looking good. So hopefully he can convert and try to get some some percentage out of this lead, out of this uh, the kill he just got. But we'll see. Possible. Yeah, definitely possible. I think that's the first side view we've seen, and it is helping right now. Is I definitely say Ted has gained momentum since he got that kill, like I thought. And here we go. That maybe the death of Fox if he grabs. No, nope. yeah, he just uh, stayed. I, he knew he wasn't gonna get back from that, so. Um, now, like we, like we said, this is anyone's game pretty much now. Uh, as long as Falcon can get back to the ledge. Fox is the around. Ooh. Yeah. I did not think that was going to kill, but... Great job, yeah. Oh, 
Cool. Missing the down smash. Ooh, and a great need. I think that's like the first need we've seen this game. Okay, so Ted really needs, he's got to do something if he wants to stay in this game and try to win. Okay, the grabs are going to work. He's getting these grabs. Uh, I think I'm most worried about getting shots back. Oh yeah. Especially against a character like Captain Falcon with uh, such a poor recovery. And he's still living, but I, yeah, okay. And game one goes to Impulse. Yeah, that was really close. Um, it went from four stock to two stock to one stock to one stock, and uh, the grabs were really working for Ted. And uh, but unfortunately, even though he got some some nice knees, uh, it didn't work out. Okay, so he's going back to battlefield. Really just trying to keep him at bay with these uh, back airs and great edge guard though, he sneaked it in there. Fox Plane just closed pretty well today. It's, for the most part, it's just like last game in the beginning. Fox is just like, he's really dictating the pace of the game. And. Ooh. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Uh, down air into knee. That was really good. That's such a satisfying combo to hit. Yes, it is. I feel like anything that ends with knee is incredibly satisfying though, so... Oh, yeah. Let's see what Ted can do. Hopefully do what he did last time. Get some grabs off. Land some aerials and then eventually end with a knee. Oh, and another knee. Great job. Now this is super close. Let's see what he can do. Try to take the game. Okay, missing the down smash. Yeah, I'm about to be scared when you get your locked at the combo. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was exactly what Ted needed. He really needs to capitalize on that mistake if he wants to win this. So... Some great, great reads, knowing where he's going to roll and just immediately down airing. Uh, I'm not sure, and that was the first shot spike we've seen, and it landed, so this is still incredibly close. Lands the back end, and oh man, that was nice. The down smash, he lands the, the second part of the down smash, and converts right into a knee. That was, that was really nice, so now it's tied to 1-1. So we're going to Fountain of Dreams, which is Captain Falcon's worst stage. Uh, I can understand why. Oh, wow. That was beautiful. Yeah. The LP. And up smash from that side beat. 
Um, and pulse takes first blood. Let's see what you can do here, and just not there. Back on. What's he gonna get from this? Ooh, trying to get the read, but misses the forward smash. And just take it out there, yeah. Grab. I'd be in the knee. Yeah, we saw the the down air in the knee, side air, side B in the knee. Uh, at those high percents, landing them, the hit stun from the, either the down air or the side B. Once Fox. Like we said last time, if Captain Falcon, if Ted wants to win this, he has to capitalize on that mistake. It's unfortunate for Fox, but he definitely needs to. Yeah. Was game back. Zero zero. This is could be anyone's game. Missing the side B, not getting punished from it. Getting grabbed though. Fox has grabs of his own. Three up smashes. Getting grabbed. Ted really back air the grab. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he dove in for that. <laughs> he dove in. I think the re I think the reason he actually made that was I don't think he went for the knee. I think he went for the up air and that knocked it back even farther. And. Gave him the ability to back up, uh, up, be back, and okay, so, so, but again, okay, uh, Ted takes game three. Great job by Ted. Uh, that last stop was incredibly close. It was like 13%. Ted had like, uh, no, no, Impulse had like 13%. Ted had like 80 something, and he just came back and brought it back. Okay, so. Yep. I think uh, winner of this set gets to play Salt and uh, loser yeah. semis, and then winner is gonna play winner of that game is gonna play Ragu. So and, saying, yeah. Uh, they were like, this yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Now I know. Okay. So I'd like to see this. Okay, and he's only at 69%. Um, but, okay. So he's converting from these grabs. Fox missing. Port smash. Ooh! That was a great, that was a great down beat. Is he gonna... Okay. Grab. Another grab. It seems that whenever he gets these grabs, just the momentum automatically shifts. Yeah. It's just the grabs are so essential for Captain Falcon, and whenever he lands them, he's normally going into some combo. And it, that was a great that was a great mix up with the up tilt. Uh, oh, I think he got hit by the full force of that up smash that up air uh up beat. There we go. Oh, was that a back air? I didn't see. That was a back air. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and he kills him with a back air, up by one stock. Uh, still anyone's game, but it looks like it is definitely in favor of Ted, who just keeps landing these uh, hits, getting these combos after the uh, grabs. And, oh, there he goes. The knee, boys. The knee. 
That was that was pretty. Very pretty. People in the back are just going home. Yes. I mean, yeah. He's, they got good reason to. That was incredible. Oh, I just like this too. Oh, and he taunts. He throws out the taunt. The fully. I think there was a. I think there was a full. Oh man. Is that it? No, no, no. He's still alive. I believe that was a fully charged down smash. That was great. Still kicking. Side B. And wow, that was good again. Side B to up. Side B to. Side B to knee. That was really good. That was great. And game. Second is Ted. So I think Ted is now playing Salt for uh, losers. Losers finals. Okay. Shouts to uh, Cloud Nine shirt and Mango. Shouts to Mango. Shouts to Mango. Okay, we got Ted versus Salt Boys. I want to see who's going where. Yep. So, looks like Salt's. I'm not sure if he's going to switch to Peach. Salt's been playing Marth, I think, the entire tournament. Okay. He's not even like top He's like the best in uh, arcade light. Okay. Calm down, I'm trolling. Okay, he's pulling out the princess. So, uh, for those who don't know, Sol has been playing Mark the entire tournament, and he just turned. Uh, he got. Oh yeah, my bad. Okay. So, uh, so switching from Marth to Peach, he got 3 0 by uh, Ragu and um, playing all Marth. Surprisingly, he didn't switch to Peach. Uh, he played all Marth, and so I think now he's kind of going try hard mode. I don't know. So we'll see. What's up? I have no idea who that is. Yeah, I know. I thought it would be tough. Oh. <laughs> uh. Right now we're going through bands. Uh, again, Salt versus Ted. Uh, Ted has been looking really well, really nice. He almost beat Ragu. Not sure how they play in general, but Ragu said it was a fairly even matchup. Uh, and then he did just beat Impulse. Uh, Impulse had a good first game, but Ted took it back going to Battlefield, which he lost on in the first game. And then uh, did really well, and we're going back to Battlefield, just like he did first game. So. Peach versus uh, Captain Falcon. I'm not sure. Okay, he's going back. So we got Peach for versus uh, Captain Falcon. Uh, for that I know of, still still playing Mark the entire tournament. And he just switched to Peach. I suggested he wanted to go try hard mode, but I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, they've been saying that a lot. Well. Yeah, he did great. Losing the first game, unfortunately, but then he came back. All the other, uh, the other games, he did great. Yeah, the Falcon. And great for I don't think he's going to be able to return. Yeah, he did. Salt Peach is just insane. And now I can see why he wanted to switch back from Marth to Peach. I mean, he's just... Oh. This is Peach, so she's probably going to be able to recover, yeah. Hits him with the Umbrella, and but the Down Smash does convert. Not able to kill, though, but... And... Let's see, can he convert? He uses the up air instead of the knee. And I don't think he's gonna be able to get back. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not. Too, too far down on the stage. Uh, still, Salt is in the lead by an entire stock, and he seems to just be taking complete control. He's been playing Mark the most today, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. He got three out by Ragu, uh, and then he he got three out and winners by Ragu, and I believe that's probably why he switched back to Peach, because I was pretty surprised that. Because he was down 2-0, and I, I was surprised that he didn't go to the Peach. Uh, and so I guess right now he just wants to, you know, finally pull it out, see what he can do. Um, that 
that was okay. Ooh, neutral air, neutral air, knee. Great combo. And we got the crowd cheering for Falcon. Let's see what happens. And the new hits from uh, Peach. Not looking good for Falcon. But right now he's backing up damage. Oh. Missing the knee, that would have really helped. Oh yeah. If it's anything like Hanky Panky's Peach, which I have played, it's not fun. And a great knee. He's at 89%. Hopefully, I'm not sure what exactly he can do, uh, but maybe trying to get more grabs like he has in the previous times. Because whenever he gets those grab conversions, he seems to uh, usually pull out. But I'm not sure how he's gonna do now. Uh, he's at a really high percentage. Most of the Twitch chat. Most of the Twitch chat. Right, okay, so. Right. And the neutral air hits. I'm not. Trying to throw the turn up down, but it doesn't work. The forward throw almost kills, and then the air kills. Yeah. <laughs> so, one of the soul right now. Losers finals. Uh, going back to Battlefield, just like last game where he played against uh, Impulse. He lost first Battlefield game, then he went back to Battlefield and won. Hopefully, we can see some of that too. Multiple hitboxes, boys. Kind of a strange matchup. Usually, I don't have some interest in Falco. Ooh, trying to use, yeah, trying to use the uh, counter, but does not work. But the nuke does and kills him. 76%. Let's see what he can do out of this. Oh, I think he wanted that knee there, but he got hit by the the by the turn up. And a great back air, but uh, Peach is not dead. Even still, I mean, yeah. Peach has doesn't have good enough connection. Yeah, there you go. 25% three stack jump throw. Still in this game, very close. Really converting with those combos, great job. Yeah, the grab. Yeah. Ooh, trying to get the trying to get the down air, but yeah, the peach is neutral. Uh, input was faster, so got hit by that first. Another neutral, and yeah. What can you get from this? And the up air, she's still living. Gets hit by the top of the umbrella. Back air, still living. Another back air, and there we go. There we go. So again, just like last time, 20-ish uh, percent, uh, and it's tied up. Ooh! Like we said, the grab. The grab into an up air into a knee. And another knee? Is that gonna be it? No. Just Peach. Great dab I saw able to live through this. Oh. Hit by the neutral. Trying to use the 
Down smash. Oh, and gets the up air. Misses the first one, but gets the second one. Finally hitting the uh, the Ford beat. I haven't seen him use it. I think I don't think at all this game. Yeah. And he gets in. Great tech. Doesn't go flying after that dude. Uh, gets hit by. Oh, mind games. Mind games. It was either you try grabbing the ledge and get hit by the peach neutral air, or you fall to your death. And I guess he wanted to take the second round. So Ted really need tell you Ted really needs something if he wants to get this. Oh, and get the board air. I don't. Yeah, that's game. Unfortunate. Yeah. Shout out to the guys who get really huge. Oh yeah, I was hearing that. Something about blocking. Okay, going to Pokemon Stadium. Notoriously known as a really good uh, Falcon uh, Captain Falcon stage. Not sure how it works with Peach. But I do know for the famous uh, Captain Falcon player, S2J. Call it Johnny Stadium. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a uh, little bit of that luck poured off on Ted here. Because coming into a best of five, 2-0 is not... It's not really key, yeah, he's got a lot of work to do. And a great back air, but he's definitely living, and hits the down smash. Yeah. Uh, most Falcons I see tend to not use a lot of those smash attacks just because they're really risky, but it seems that Ted's got really good placing with these smashes, and when he does land them, they're normally a KO, so... Kind of a risky job. Yeah. Side B in general is fairly risky when you're trying to recover with it. Gets hit by the forward air. Uh, yeah. But with the DI we've seen, not there, but I was about to say with the DI we've seen, he's been able to survive these needs, but not that one. And Ted looking really crispy right now. Hopefully he can continue it. Getting hit by those multiple aerials, the multiple neutral airs. And again, it's not looking good. Oh, but he recovers. Soft knee. The neutral. Oh, there we go. The 4B into the knee. Like we see, it's really good. Now, this is a dangerous place getting back in that wall. Can't really see what's going on. Yeah, we need to see some Falcon Punches. Yeah, we need to see some Falcon Punches. I haven't seen one. I've seen this guy play like twice. I've seen him play in two sets, and I haven't seen any Falcon Punches, but he's very careful. And lands the up air. He's up one stock. This is looking good for Ted. Gotta keep this momentum going. Punish with the neutral air for missing that uh, down smash. See what he can do from now. What happened there? Did he L cancel or did he. Yeah. But Ted takes game three. It's getting closer, boys. Two, one. And we're going to Yoshi's. Scary stage for both characters. Yes. Scary stage in general. Oh, yeah. If he gets the uh, key chat high percentages, uh, pretty much. Most aerials will KO just because of the fact it's such a small stage, and there's not going to be any chance of that magical DI that Salt's been using to escape these knees. So if he lands one of them, probably like I'd say 60-70%, Salt's gone, definitely. Oh yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Yeah. Not exactly. Yeah. Using the, I think he just. Wow. Great use of those up airs. Ooh, I think it's the first time we've seen a forward smash for Peach. Yeah. The pan, boys. 
Uh, no, I don't think it was. It was, what do you call it? I don't know what it's called. Oh. Not exactly sure what happened there. Um, back air, landing. The grab. Oh, missed the knee. Another grab, a knee. Oh. Put the up air. Oh, missing the gentleman. But does not get punished, so it's okay. And the up air lands. Still anyone's game, really close. Ted needs us to stay in, and Salt needs us to advance. Using those up airs again. Starting the combo with that neutral air, and then just continuous up airs for doing a great job knocking Peach off stage. Ooh. I wanted that, I really wanted that, but she just went up a little bit too high from that bounce. Um, oh. oh, I think if he stayed on a little bit longer, he may have actually withheld her from getting the ledge. Here comes that super close. Is that gonna be the, no, she's still living. Back air would kill. Up air instead of the knee, trying to go less risky. Oh! Oh! Wow. I can't tell you why. Sorry, bud. Yeah, we don't know exactly why the screen's so small. I guess we're just a giant. Yeah. Game. That was. Oh. That was unfortunate because it looked like. And he kills with the up beam. Okay, so Ted really needs this. Uh. The, yeah. Oh, this is, this yeah, is the, I mean, Peach has so many options with the, the turnups, and there's not much he can do. And he gets Stitch Face, Stitch Face, but he tucked it against the wall, so he actually survived. That was good. And he's at 165. What is going to happen, boys? And, yeah. And game goes to... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Salt won 3-1. I believe it should, I think it's Ragu Salt, uh, Grand Finals. Uh, Ragu from winner's side and uh, Salt from Blizzard's. Yep, here we go. <laughs> So after this, will you still do friendlies and everything? I believe so. Yeah, I think so. Unless people, because some people actually bring their own setups, and some some people will leave. It depends. Alright. Oh, yeah. um, if no one's here, then I don't, I guess I don't know why not. Okay, everybody, we got grand finals here. Ragu versus Salt. Salt coming from losers bracket, being knocked out by Ragu himself. Uh, but. The thing about that game was that Ragu, uh, Salt was actually playing Mars, and now I switched back to Peach. So if he stays Peach, this uh, may be a completely different outcome than it was in the, uh, I think it was winner's semis. Okay, so here we go, guys. Peach versus Sheik, uh, Salt versus Ragu. Grand Finals. Hype train, everybody. Need some hype. Need some hype. Now, I think the pass, I want to say like three or four games will all start on Battlefield. So I won't be surprised if we start on Battlefield. Yeah, we're starting Battlefield. Battlefield again, everybody, Grand Finals. So, here we go. Ooh, great forward air by Salt. Ragu still getting on, another forward air. Salt, great job using those forward airs, and once she when she gets knocked off, trying to use those uh, turnips to, for pressure and uh, really stopping um, Sheik's approach back to the stage. Great forward air by Sheik. Salt getting punished for missing that down smash. Ooh, gets back up with the up beam. Up air, not gonna kill. Two. 
Right, it does have a little bit of leeway because he only has to win three games of Sultan has to win six, I believe. That's how it's being played. Uh, this is with the down smash, the turn it. Now, um, Sultan Ragu I've played many times before. Hitting with the down smash. Uh, again, a great kill move for Sheik at those high percents. Um, but, as I was saying, Salt and Ragu played many times before. I'm not exactly sure how all the outcomes have gone, but whenever I'm normally here at the tournament, uh, in amateur bracket, generally it's those two playing in finals. So, um, right now, these combos from Sheik are making it look really good for her. Uh, but in general, Peach so far had the lead. In the great user of the needles, grab what's gonna get from this grab. Wow, probably getting the max amount of pummels he could get. Oh, I want to say like maybe five or six pummels. Uh, the forward air hitting. Now, Ragu, all he needs is probably a forward air, which is what I just said, or a down smash to get the kill, and he got it with, the, with that forward air. Hey, we got Ted here. This is what you do when you suck at the game. You commentate, okay? That's the story of third place. Got third place in the house of fear. I got third place here, to the same people. Is anyone watching? How many viewers we got? Where's it at? Uh, I don't think it's the same viewers. It does. It, it almost always does. Look up. No? Anyone? Currently unavailable. Oh, okay. That's our great internet connection. Yep. So... Why can't so, I do it, man? Why can't I beat him? I beat him before. I don't know. I was rooting for you, dude. Damn right you were. I was rooting for you, man. <laughs> I'll, root, I'll root for any Falcon, man. I turned things around in the Pokemon Stadium game, and then uh, my skill left me, as it usually does, because I get third. You did pretty good against... Uh, crap, who was it? Tim Impulse. I beat Impulse on this TV, too. And Cheat. It was, well, no, Cheat was over there. Who... Was it... Was it... No, you... You Ragu sent me to losers. It was a, oh, yeah, so yeah. I went to game five. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's My entire that's life would have been different if I could have just <laughs> beaten him. Okay, so game one goes to Salt. Oh, game one goes to Salt. It's the commentator with the glasses. Oh. What's that? What? That must be him. Is the com? Oh, it's Pitch. Is the commentator with the glasses? I don't know what is Kappa M. <laughs> Kappa pride him. I don't know what's the. I uh, I actually don't know what that face means even without the colors on it. Yeah. Me and Team Nick spent like ten minutes like just staring at it because that's like the most popular face on Twitch. Yeah. I still don't know what it means yeah, and no one will tell you. It's like this exclusive club. No, but I know Pitch. Pitch was uh, commentating earlier. He's got blonde hair, Luigi man. Does this work? Can you put those on for a second to see if you can hear me? Testing, testing, one, two, two. Okay. Alrighty. See. Yeah. So we're we're good here. Yeah. And we at least have one viewer. So, sorry I let you downstream. It means sarcasm. Yeah, I almost never know what it means in context though, like, I don't know. Ooh, there's, a, there's some good DI. I'll give you a prime example. Huh? I'll give you a prime example. When is Leffen gonna play a Kappa? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what it is, yeah. Did you mean to say such a fun player? Yeah, okay, I get it. He said Ragu is such a fun player to watch, Kappa. Oh, oh yeah, I agree. <laughs> Try playing him all the time. We, this is what happens every tournament. We, we salt Ragu. We just play each other all the time. We're all missing fumbles today, though. He probably would have made some noise. Yeah. He's really good with Pikachu. Yeah. Um, who else? I don't know. St Steve, Steve would have definitely Steve made some Evo. noise. He's a Devo. Uh, Team Nick. Uh, Team Nick. He's never he's never one of one of our pro round robins though. <laughs> Me, Steve, and Ragu have.
Did you like that stitch face tech? Oh yeah, that was nice. Pretty that nice, was, right? That was nice against the wall. Yeah, that was really good. Okay, so similar to last game, Salt has a lead, but let's see what Ragu can do. So just a small lead for Ragu here, um, but it's also good at edge guarding that I call basically even. It's the he makes it back. He, I will say, he is incredibly good at that that little parasol trick. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he knows. He knows. Oh yeah, he hits he you knows. a few times with the uh, just like once with the parasol it's, doing it's that. Quick, it's quick. Yeah, yeah. It's very quick. It's much quicker than people think. And it's kind of hard to get around the hitbox, so... See? Look at him last stock. Ridiculous. Hit by the... Yep, down smash kills. See what... You're gonna see down do. smash and forward air kills, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's blessed, he's gonna want to get some uh, up air kills, though, but... Maybe not on Battlefield. Yeah. The problem is he probably doesn't want to go Yoshi's, because then Matt... Might bring out the, uh, the Marth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he did. Not sure exactly how he feels, but he did 3-0 his Marth. So I mean, yeah. It depends how how confident. That's so two two zero. Yeah, right? yeah. So I just heard FD. Yeah. Final destination. And so it's all the same peach. So we get out of this. I'll do the peach, the Marth and the peach are so warmed up right now. Yeah. I warmed the peach up. He was going Marth. Every time against that. Oh, yeah. Do you think you would have had a better outcome if you were playing against the Marth? He knows. <laughs> he, he knows. knows. <laughs> That's why he's There's a reason why he went Marth the, <laughs> Marth the entire tournament and then and went Peach against uh, me. Oh, of course. He was Marth for every single match in the tournament until yeah. he got to me. So. Well, let's talk about that. That's in the past now. Here we Seems, have like great, with a Seems like a great choice. A clean, almost, yeah. Yeah, almost a zero to that. Clean one stock lead here in a minute. Yes. And finally gets that <laughs> up air KO. That's what Ragu likes to do. Just gets that first stock and picks you apart. <gasps> oh, wash, rinse, repeat. Yep. Ooh, weird DI. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that was the quickest of jams. Did you play any today? Uh, I played an amateur bracket, yeah. I didn't do too well, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not that good. I'm uh. not good at all. <laughs> You'll get better really quick if you keep coming here. Yeah, I've been coming here since like late April, I want to say. And I started playing since like, in general playing like October of last year. And then I came here in April. Yeah. Uh, oh wow, power shield turn up to out of shield in there. 10% more that would have killed. I think that's the first time I've seen Ragu use a down air this entire, like, not just a set, but like, at all. The entire day? Yeah, pretty much. 
Another down smash kill. Yeah, I-19 was, uh, I-19, I think, or is he... I-19, um, glasses, skinny? Yeah, is he glasses and skinny? Because I know there's two, there's I-8, I believe, and I-19, I think. Because Tomo was I-9, right? Yeah, I know, oh, I-9, that's it, yeah. Tomo, yeah, I-8, 19 was there. So, yes, I-19 yeah, was there. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him play a few matches, yeah. So, we got 2-1 so, now? Yeah, yeah, 2-1 now. Now we're going to Fountain of Dreams. Okay. And I believe... Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Found of Dreams Sheik's best stage? Against Peach? Or well, not I against would Peach, but I believe in general, like... In general, she's incredibly strong. Mewtwo can go counter picks here a lot. Uh, the thing that's going to get really annoying here that I can tell you right now he's going to do and he's going to get hit by, especially if he's not winning, he's going to stand on those platforms and down smash, and Raku's going to get hit by them. Oh, it's I got like a bomb, I got a bomb, I got a bomb. Oh, oh. It's, just, it's like a steel cage, dude, especially when they're lowering. It's, it's a ridiculous. Raku's best chance is going to be when those platforms are going down on either side. That was sad. I really wanted to see something happen with that bomb. But he missed it. So, Salt with his trademark incredible patience. Ooh, yep. Gets a kill off a down smash of his own. Oh, that was a quick grab. God, he's quick with those needles. Here's where Peach needs to really get the kill really quick, or can oh, yeah. steamroll. Yep, Ragu's yeah, really, really good at getting that residual damage. Okay, so it's land forty one percent. See what Salt can do from here. hit by the needle, trying to recover, and cannot make it back, so he's got pretty much a full stock lead. It's looking good for Ragu. It's incredibly hard to take Salt's last stock, as you saw when I was facing him. <laughs> this is why the commentary needs to be farther away from the players so they can't hear us. Commentator's curse. So, uh, if Ragu wins, it's over. Salt wins, we reset the bracket. Yep. And going back to Fountain of Dreams.
Told you. Ooh, what did there, I there you go. <laughs> Told you. Again. It's worth an entire yeah, they're stock. Almost, you look. They're almost at See? the. See? Oh. That led to that that death. So now we know why your pick found us. Oh, that uh, found the dreams. Early vertical kill. Yep. Well, not let us see our viewers. How do you make it see the viewers? Uh, go to. I think it's right. No. Well, viewers, we can't see any of you. Yeah. may not have been refreshed. I don't know. It said 19, but it may not have been... Ooh, 19. If that's so, then. That's actually quite a handful. And Ragu and brings it back. Kill, yep. Got the crowd on her back. But... That was a greedy crouch cancel attempt. Bracket reset by Salt. Where'd my mouse go? Oh, there it is. Hi. Okay. Now, if you want to get technical, they're both. They both should have an L. <laughs> Some people know. Yep. Okay. So going to back to battlefield. I think that was the first stage that was played on. <laughs> reset boys. These two are the reset boys. They have reset quite a few times. Every time they play almost they reset. Salt with the early edge guard. Drago gets out of it though. Uh, he, Great grab. He knows, yeah. he knows when to grab. And he has been that jab grab has been destroying him. Ooh, another down smash. And the needles. That was great use of the needles. Stopping them from getting the ledge. That was crispy. That, I guarantee uh, you he didn't mean to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I was a little confused. Oh, oh, I thought he grabbed it. What is that? This is why he likes Yoshi's. Because there's no... You can get this easy tech chases. And again! Oh, I thought it... Uh-oh. Was that... Whoa. What is... Okay. <laughs> not exactly sure what happened there. But he did not get punished that much. He did not get that punished for that. And... Saul getting a little bit angry. And he does, he keeps his cool almost all the time, so. Huh? I got third, yeah. I got third, so I guess I get my dollar back? No, it's six dollars. Oh. Entry fee back. That includes the crap. Oh. Well, I guess that's what I meant to do, get third all the time, yay. 
Don't get me wrong, I'm excited to get third. It's better than not getting placed in uh, the tournament at all. Okay, fair enough. But come on, people. You gotta, gotta have high dreams. There we go. Cast money, baby. It's four white castles. Oh, yes, it is. Or a CC's buffet if you want water. <laughs> Damn, you're gonna be hungry now. I'm starving. I'm I am too. literally I am famished. Too. I, am literally famished I had Skyline well. at work at 12:30. So you know, let's do some math here. You would have seen them uh, if you tuned in for the the Peach Falcon match, the Ted Ted Salt match. You you saw the crazy edge guard combos. Oh yeah. Um, but you know, it kind of seems most Peach, most Peaches, it can tend to look like it's their only combo is just down smash through. Shout outs to Water. Shout outs to Water. Yeah. Um, getting tricked there a little bit. I think Salt was expecting him to pick that turn up up. So this just went from looking like it was definitely in Ragu's favor to going like either way now. No, well, you should not let him get those turnips out. This is really close right now. Don't. No. That's unfortunate. Alright. Regu already calls out of stage. He wants FD. He had a lot of success with FD last time, so I'm not surprised <laughs> why. Yeah. yeah. So. Salt hey, switching to yeah, Mars. Salt not wanting to deal with Sheik on FD today with H. So let's see how this works. Uh, and winners, he did get 3 0 with Mars. Yes, he did. I'm not sure if they actually went to FC, though. I don't think they did. Yeah, I don't think they did, so. He, he, he must feel like it's a better Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know for a fact Ragu is incredibly good with needles on this stage, because there's no real way to. Oh, here we go. Mm. And that's sh I don't know if that's gonna be it. That's him back on three, basically. Yeah, I was a little bit. I mean, it looks like he was more concerned with the needle pressure rather than just getting actually grabbing ledge. As long as he gets the kill without taking any more damage. Yeah. But he's Sol still got the fourth stock. One, th one grab, one jab. Hang on. Told you, he told that jab's eating him up. Eat him up. Uh, no, uh, Salt actually took last game. And oh, well, yeah. You have it. Oh, what? Oh, that's my bad. That's why. No, Salt was the, yeah, Salt was the one. That was my bad. I accidentally gave it to Ragu. No, 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 Salt won last game. It was close, but, uh, yeah, Salt won. Chain for good measure, and we got a half, about a half stock lead here. Those needles, and yeah. they're so hard to avoid. Just come out so quickly and they just rack up damage. Oh, playing the dash dance again. That was an ultra quick crouch cancel, so Ragu couldn't get a follow up. Stare down, and not much you can do when Sheik's crouching like that. Ragu's yeah. kind of got it down to a science. Gets hit by the last bit of that up uh, Trying to use that crouch again. Ooh, Ooh, random that tipper. That was a really nice tipper. 
Grab, we'll see what he does with it. Oh, a free grab coming. That's gotta be a mistake. Oh, yeah, must be. Ridiculous DI. Second part of the down smash hit. First forward smash from Ragu all day. Yes, that's true. She trying to use those down tilts, but he's just getting shielded. And Salt's just building up damage. And another tipper. Wow. This Salt just, just yeah. Take that stock without. Oh. This just went from like, I mean, just like last game, oh. Ragu had the lead, and now Salt's got the lead. And I don't. Ah. Uh, oh, he is lucky to get back to there. Ragu's gonna be looking for anything here, really. Yeah. There, you there, go. We go. there we go. At 205. Basically, two stocks worth of percent, so. Oh. Oh, oh trying so to get dangerous. that. Yeah. It should be free, and it yeah. is. Yeah. And Salt takes and game. Salt takes yeah. game two. Not looking good for Ragu. Um, He's going back. He's running it back. Going back to FD, staying Marth. Let's see what happens here. So we see he's already being more aggressive. Yeah, he's got to. And still again, accidentally getting shield, that chain out yeah. sometimes. I think he's trying to do something too quick. Kind of. Tippers have it a lot of um, rag uh, Salt's KOs. Excuse me, Salt's KOs have been from that Tipper, and I've seen him in a lot of the games he played. Marth, he's been landing. Whenever he lands those forward smashes, if he doesn't miss it, he generally lands that Tipper. Yeah. And it's been very impressive. And he's got quite a few dash dance shenanigans, so he's very good again. And not looking good, really, for uh, Salt, but. Last time we saw, again, the forward smash tipper, but I mean, last time we saw, I think Ragu was up by a stock or two, and Salt brought him back again, so anything can happen here. It's all about that momentum, and it seems just like whenever Ragu, I mean, whenever Salt gets that, it's just not good, just like right now. Wow. And here we are back at a stalemate 2-2. He was up one stock, one yeah. stock is not a lead. Seems, seems like Greg is a little rattled right now. Yeah. He, he almost never gets come back on, so it'll be interesting to see this. When you want to do it too quick, you get yeah. a little nervous, yeah. Pulling an M2K right there. That great, to yeah. great DI yeah. by Salt. And but see, the jab gets him yeah. again. Zero, 0 let's see what we can get from this. Ragu has to get this one. If yeah, it's tournament yeah. stock for Ragu yeah. right now. And that was not a good start. Oh, that, how did that not hit? That forward smash looked like it was going there. Oh, oh I am. I, am. I, 
got money this time. There we go. And congratulations to Ragu for winning the tournament. Um, salt. Congratulations to Salt for winning. I'm used. I'm, I'm just used to talking about Ragu. I've seen him play more. So congratulations to Salt. All right, we're locking you out, guys. Uh, okay, everybody. See you later. Um, congratulations to Salt for winning it again. Um, yeah, it's way, way more than, way more than, way more than, you guys later. We're